charity concert. Christine Ardman, Raincoat Factory, one dozen tickets all sold. Mrs. Leathers, over 60, two dozen tickets all sold. Jack Walker, Rovers, Richard. Excuse me, Mr. Parnell, but could you spare me a few moments of your valuable time? I realise you're up to your eyeballs, of course. You're dead right. Jack Walker, Rovers, return two dozen tickets all sold. Frank Jackson, what do you want? Me pen, I want to write to our Linda. Write to her tomorrow. Frank Jackson, chip shop, four dozen. I've got me bookings to do, you know. Well, you can do that later. Yeah, but my grand charity concert starts at eight o'clock. I've got to know where I'm up to. Mm, that's a good thing for a start. I'll have you know that this concert is a sellout. It's always the same. You've got a good box office. There's always a rush on when you have star names. Such as Katrina, the razzle-dazzle girl. Go on, laugh. But I can tell you that that little kid is going right to the top. She's got what it takes. I bet she has an all. She's a very experienced little trooper. You've got a dirty mind. And you've got a sty coming on your eye. And you've got my pen. Well, you can have it back when I've written to our Linda. Hey, you mustn't forget to tell her about my grand charity concert. She'll be kicking herself when she knows she's missed oh, it. She'll probably scrack her eyes out. Go on, deaf hockey, there's somebody at the front door. I'm doing my bookings. I'll go later on. Just pretend you're an usherette, love. You'll probably enjoy it, Mother. Hello, Mr. Tatlock. Come on in. I'm, I'm a bit pushed for time, you know. Oh, it's all the same on first night. Come on, Hello, Mr. Tatlock. Hey, Einstein, what's hey. this? What? Well, what are you taking? The Wembley Stadium or the Mission Hall? You'll never get that lot in there. Oh, we'll pack them in, won't we, Mr. Tatlock? Oh, well, if they can see what I've got in my house, we'd have a man in front ceiling. And that's what I've come round to see you about. Do you know it's like the Zeke feed follies in my front parlour? I don't quite get you, Mr. Tatlock. Well, I never thought I'd see it, but there's three smashing lasses sitting there having a cup of tea. I I've been round before, but you were both out. They they they've been looking for you. And why are three smashing lasses looking for you? I don't know. They said they were blue streaks or something. Oh, Rockies. Oh, they've come. Well, things are getting moving now. I'll go and get Just a minute. What are they, strippers? Are the echoes like now? Would I put strippers on it, mission on, in front of old age pensioners? Yes. Well, seeing as you're so clever, the Blue Street Rockets happen to be, well, the uh, dancers, sort of speciality act, you know. I see. Well, the Blue Street Rockets can streak off somewhere else. Oh, no, ma'am, listen. Nothing, Dennis. Listen, nothing. They're not setting foot in this house, and I've made up my mind. This is a respectable house. Send them to the mission hall. Oh, out for a bit of peace. I'll come and collect him, Mr. Tatlock. Oh, there is one other thing, Dennis. Have you got any tickets left? Mm -hmm. I've had an inquiry from Rosamond Street Pensioners Centre. They want 25. They'll be lucky. According to this, the Blue Streaks won't be able to squeeze in. We'll get them in, all right. Just you tell them to come along, Mr. Tatlock. Right, thanks very much. I'll, I'll let myself out. Oh, uh, Mr. Tatlock, come uh, on. These girls, they're, uh, they're not running about without on, are they? Well, when I come out, they weren't, but uh, <laughs> I'm still hoping. <laughs> Dennis Tanner's concert. Three strippers trampled to death by five million old age pensioners. I only wish I could be there to see it. Why not? You I'd, will be. I just haven't, haven't got a ticket, that's all. I've got a complimentary ticket for you. Do you mean to say you remembered your poor old mum? There you are, mum. One ticket with the compliments of the organiser. It would have cost you half a dollar, be right, but seeing as it were your birthday, you can have it for a bob. And six dozen light ales. Have you got that down? Mm, I think so, though. Right, that's a lot. And there's a couple of barrels on, so she shouldn't have any bother. Right, well, you'd better start getting changed then, love. What at this time? Hey, it won't take me five minutes. I've never got to change and have a quick shave. Jack Walker. The annual dinner of the Licensed Vittlers Association does not take place in the middle of a football ground. If you are going to a function at the Royal Hotel, you'll go respectably dressed. Unless, of course, you prefer sitting down to dinner with blobs of blood all over your chin. Yeah, it's more blooming trouble than it's worth. Oh, hello, hello. hello. Oh. Getting all ready for your concert tonight. Ah, yeah, it's moving. Three of my artists have turned up already. I know, they've been in here already asking for you. Three young ladies. Yeah. I thought they couldn't be friends of yours. Uh, no, they're Blue Streets, they're dancers, you know. Oh. I haven't come at an awkward time, have I? Oh, yeah. What can I do for oh, you? Uh, Mr. Walker, I wondered if I could have your tickets back, you know, the ones that you've got left. I haven't got any left. I've sold up. Well, all lot. Oh, they went like cup final tickets. I think it was that razzle-dazzle turn that got them interested. Crikey, I better get hold of Mr. Tatlock before his little lot get in. I'm overbooked. Thanks very much. Ta-ra. ta, -ra. ta -ra, love. Razzle-dazzle, indeed. Overbooked? Hey, he's not mucked up his concert already, has he? Well, now, look, love, would you mind worrying about it while you're getting changed? The taxi will be here in an hour, and you know how I hate being rushed. Ah, <sighs> oh, try it now, then, Albert. I have done. Oh, well, now it's happened. Well, wait a minute. Now, then, how is it now? No, it's no good. 
I'll have to have another look at that fuse box. You know, I'm going to look all right, Tato, if it doesn't work. I've told half of them the GPO that I'm going to be chief electrician on oh, this show. Oh, well, they'll be done the wiser. Of course they will. You There's know, 15 of them coming. Happened it with that blue streak, lass. Who? You know, one of them dancers with tassels on. She tripped over the wire on the road to the dressing room. Ah, oh, well, that's what's done it then. Yeah, what's it about a dressing room? We well, you know that little room up back where we do our brewing up. Huh? Well, young Dennis has stuck a star up door made out of silver paper. <laughs> well, let's hope he and the Sharple doesn't clap our eyes on it. Otherwise, he'll be seeing stars of his own. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, Mr Barlow. How's things going? It's not, lad. One of your dancers wants to learn to pick her feet up. She's disconnected somewhat. Ah, oh, first night nerves. You know how it is. Uh, Mr Tatlock, uh, uh, you know your friends at the Pensioner Centre? Well, uh, do you think you could pour them off for a bit? You see, Mr Walker's got no more tickets left. Oh, well, not now I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't get in touch with all of them. Them. Mm. And I mean, if they do turn up, you, you can't turn them away. No. Ah, well, bring them in. We'll put them in somewhere. That's 25 without tickets. Does that include my post office lot? You know, there's 15 of them coming. What, without tickets? Well, he said it'd be all right. He said, Albert, have some left over here. Hold on another a minute, will you? Yeah. Oh, well. We'll sort it out. You know what they say? It'll be all right on the night. Yeah. That's tonight. Yeah. I know. So does the watch committee. Oh, well, Mrs. Sharples, come in. Thank you very much. Nice to know I can come in to be your mission. Were you saying something about watch committee, Mrs. Sharples? I Sharples? was. They have been informed of the threatened appearance of three young women who have been previously banned in Cardiff, Barnsley and the Golden Mile. I thought you'd like to know. Oh, well, they don't do that act anymore, Mrs. Sharples. They've jacked it in. Oh, well, after tonight, that's definite. Well, we've got plenty more terms coming. Yes, including a bobby. Eh? They've been told you're overbooked. Well, how do they know? Because Annie Walker told me, and I told them, there's a law against blocking your gangways, you know. Only Joe Bax has been told what I think about him, and Minnie Cole has been told to keep her fingers off that piano. There's been a lot of telling round here, hasn't there? And have you got no you'd like to tell us while you're at it? No. I've said my piece. Have a nice concert. Good night. Oh, gum, she's gone and done it good and proper now, hasn't she? Well, I don't suppose it's any use fixing that spotlight now, then. Ah, oh, of course it is. Wait till Captain Johnson and his troop arrive. Uh, you know what they say, the show must go on. Hey, Olive. Thank you. Who oh, are they go every year, you know? Mrs Walker wouldn't miss the association dance for all the world. Oh, well, and do all the men wear tails? Of course they do. It's a very posh affair, you know, not Jackson's chip shop. Oh, I think they look lovely in tails. They always remind me of penguins. Well, what's so lovely about penguins? I think it's the way they walk. Oh, Mr Walker will be pleased. And are they staying the night? Of course they stay in the night. It doesn't finish till very late. Oh, well, if they stay, they can have breakfast in bed. Oh, I do like breakfast in bed. And since when have you had your breakfast in bed? Oh, the morning after Ina went, I had a lie-in to celebrate. And who got your breakfast? My mother. I thought she were poorly. Oh, she's better since Ina left. And Cena left what? Oh, oh, she was just saying uh, her mother's not been the same woman. No, she's missed me skivvying for her. Hey, you might go and tell Lord and Lady Uncombe Duncombe there's a taxi waiting outside, wasting good money. Oh, let her come, thanks. Miss Walker, taxi's here. There's a 63 and a 104 and a 49 bus running every five minutes outside the bus and they have to take a taxi. I suppose it never occurred to you to get one in for me, did it? Well, we're only just having the one, Ina. Ah, it's nearly time for concert. Is it? What are you going as? Razzle-dazzle girl? Oh, no, Ina. That's Katrina. She'll not do much razzle-dazzling without a piano, will she? Oh, but there's a piano in mission. Oh, yes. And it's locked. And that's the way it's stopping. Because the key is stopping with me. How's it looking now? Hey, just, look, up. just look at them. There's hundreds of them. They're pouring in. My God, they are, aren't they? It's just like Fashiondale Ridge. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know about that, but it makes you an awful lot of sense. I can do without oh, oh, get out. You've done a very good job there, Kevin. Oh, well, you see, oh, get a good oh, organizer, oh, that's it, you've cracked it. Well, over there you are, Mr. Oh, Barlow. That's very good, yes. Now, all we need now is Captain Johnson and his troop, and we're away. Yeah, well, they're taking the time, aren't they? Yeah, well, they've got to get from Huddersfield, you know. Hey, oh. Gunga Dinner, are you in charge of that howling mob out there? That is what is known in the trade as a wonderful audience. Yes, well, you might tell some of your teddy boyfriends that I'm as much entitled to a seat as they are. Oh, and guess who I met on my way up there. The three blue streaks. And you know what they told me? Guess where they said they were going? The Tanner's house to watch telly. Yeah, well, just a laugh at show, you see. They've been banned. Yeah, well, they're banned from our house and all. And you needn't bother to tell them. I have mentioned it. <laughs> Sorry, love. I've done it. Oh, good for you, Mrs. Cornwell. What have you done, love? I've opened the piano with my hairpin. Well, you'll play us a couple of tunes while we're waiting, won't you? You know, j just to keep them happy. Some at weird twist to it. Some at swinging. Swinging? Hi, swinging! Oh. 
That's what you've got to do in this business, Mr. Tallack, you know. You've got to keep them happy. You've got to get, get the beat, it. Dennis. Oh, yeah. Call for it in the Rovers, long distance. Keep them happy, Mr. Tallock. I won't be a set. Right. Well, then, how are you going? Have you got them all seated? No, it's impossible. Either the scores of them standing, including his mother. Goodbye, Dolly. That. That takes me back a bit, that does. Goodbye, Dolly Gray. You know, they used to sing that to lads when they were off to France. Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Honestly, you've only been over there ten minutes and already have to come back here for your pint. That's no blooming option. I'm not getting crushed to dinner just to death, just for a smile on Dennis Tanner's face. There's hundreds of gate crashes over there, you know. I know. Well, you should have stayed after all. It is his big night. Look, I've been on my feet all day. I don't play at concert parties. I work for me living. There's a phone call for me, isn't there, Mrs. Hewitt? Yeah, you go right through, love. It's all work, isn't it? <laughs> Come, talk about cup finals. There's about 400 out there already are <laughs> still pouring in. How are you getting on? Uh, it won't be long now, lad. Hey, hey, there's a chap with a van at door, and he's brought that note for Jenny Stanner from Captain Johnson. Well, go on, lad, read it. Uh, dear Mr. Tanner, I've sent on Sherry and Buddy, as promised. The rest of us will be arriving at 7 o'clock. Looking forward to the show, Captain Johnson. 7 o'clock? Well, it's nearly 5 to 8 yeah. now. <laughs> How do you mean your big end's gone? Oh, I see. Well, can't you get another one? Well, you can get on a bus, can't you? Sherry and Buddy, no, I've not seen them. Where are they? What do they do? They what? Oh, what am I going to do with them? I can't do that. What am I going to do? Oh, they'll lynch me. It's what? Oh, sure business. Well, thanks for ringing. Yeah, I'll do my best. Sherry and Buddy. Yes, well, well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Anyhow, they can start the show. Aye, but what time will the rest of them get here? forward to the show, sat sitting on his big end in the middle of flipping Yorkshire moors. They'll go berserk, they'll start turning seats up. Can't she play out out? Well, she says it's her favourite. They'll go mad listening to the same tune all night long. Yeah, I should have been a bricklayer, I'd have been better off. Hey, it's not your fault, Dennis. I mean, you can't tell if his big end. Well, I'm going to tell him. Oh, you'll have to tell him it's cancelled, that's all you can do. Hey, them sea lions, we could put them on, couldn't we? I mean, the sort of solo act. No, we couldn't. Poor things, I bet they're hungry too. What do they live on? Fish, in it? Oh, where are we going to get fish at this time at night? I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Uh, I have a message. Would uh, Mrs. Florrie Lindley please come backstage as the management would like to have a word with her. Don't thank you. What's up with you? Now, look, you'll have to tell him it's all off. You can't keep them hanging about all night. Yeah, well, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? I mean, there's hundreds of them. I don't like to upset them. Well, someone's got to, haven't they, lad? And I mean, you won't come, fair. Yeah. Do you want me, Dennis? Oh, Mrs. Lindley, can you do me a favour, please? Well, well, if I can, look. Will you go to your shop and get me a dozen boxes of fish fingers? What do you want a dozen boxes of fish fingers for? They're for sea lions. I beg your pardon? Sea lions. We've got a couple in there. Sea lions are the team. Oh, yeah, they're nearly human. These are the best two in the business, but they're just missing the tea, that's all. Oh, well, I'll go and have a root in the fridge and see what I've got. Oh, good. You go right away, will you? Oh, yes, I don't want <laughs> to miss the fun. <laughs> By the way, Dennis, if I were you, I'd get your first turn on because they're getting a bit upset out there. Mm. Hey, uh, there's just been another telephone message from Captain Johnson. He won't be here for at least another hour. Well, look, shall I go and tell him, lad? No, I'll do it myself. I'll tell you what you can do, Mr. Tatlock. Would you look after these sea lions for me? You know, they're sensitive animals. They need company. Right, here he goes. Sorry to have to tell you that owing to uh, circumstances beyond our control, the grand charity concert for tonight's performance has had to be cancelled. 
owing to the indisposition of Captain Johnson and his troop on the Oldersfield Road. So if you would please form into an orderly... Isn't he all right, are you? He's looking a bit ugly out there, lad. I, I think they're wanting their money back, you know. Yeah, if I was you, I should nip off pretty sharpish. Yeah, I'll get out to the window. If anyone wants me, I'm engaged. Oh, I knew he'd make a muck up it. As soon as I knew it were Dennis Tanner's doing the arranging, I knew it would be summer to now. Oh, she told me she were quite looking forward to it, Who Oh, did? I said I'd rather sit here with Ina. I said so all along. We could have been sitting here with you conversing. Well, I enjoyed it. I thought <coughs> it were quite a nice affair. Affair? Now it happened. No, but it were very lively. Mm, you come running back here a bit quicker than you went, didn't you? Look at you, Sonny Roy, the Wonder Boy's fan club. Uh, Excuse me, ladies. A milk stout for you, Mrs. Caldwell, with the compliments of the two gentlemen of the public. And they said to tell you that they enjoyed the sing song very much. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> nice little sing song. Yes, I gave them a nice little recital. Hey, who are you kicking? Oh, oh no one in. I was just getting comfortable. Oh, well, try and do it without knocking holes in my shin bones. What nice little sing song. Oh, at the concert. I gave them a nice tune on the. You gave them a tune on the what? I warned you, but oh no, you have to go one better. What have you been doing to my piano? Goodbye, Dolly Gray. Ah, it'll be good night, Minnie Colwell, before you finish, won't it? You've been busy with that hairpin again, have you? See, I told you she'd catch you out. Would you like me drink? No, stop it yourself. I've had more than enough. Ina, are you feeling poorly? I've never heard you say that all the years I've known you. I've not been treated like that before. Like what? Six milk stouts for now. While you've been busy cracking pianos, I've had a very pleasant evening with three young women. What young women? The Blue Streak Rockets. <laughs> they have a rum way of earning their living, but by gum, they pay the whack. <laughs> Well, cheer up, lad. It's not the end of the world. Ah, there's one consolation, lad. Now what else can go wrong? <laughs> there's no left. There is, you know. Three blue street rockets and two sea lions. Blue street rockets. I said to Ra to them once. I give them seven and six and all for the suppers in a chip shop. Ah, well, I'll come back. What for? They know there's no from here. They know that. Seems they're demanding their fee and accommodation for the night. Said it was in their contract. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Mr. Tatlock, I don't suppose you could pour them up in your house, could you? No, I don't suppose you could. Well, what about them beasts? I mean, what are you going to do with them? That's the point. Yeah, you can't have them flapping about all night. Have the RSPCA on your tail. Hey, I've just remembered. What? They're supposed to stay in water all night. Captain Johnson told me on the phone. They'll have to sleep in somebody's bath. Oh, then put them in yours. We haven't got one. Well, find one. What am I going to do? Well, I'm blowed if I know, but I'll tell you something. There's nobody around here that'll let you put two blooming sea lions in the bath. Ah, even if they had one. No, you'll have to think of something else, lad. I've got it. A dead foolproof idea. I've got it. Now, you just stay here. You can manage on your own without me for a bit, can't you? Right. Now, just wait here for a sec. I'll be back. <laughs> Don't look at me. It's anybody's guess where Dennis Tanner's concerned. Uh, Mr. Hewitt, uh, is M Mrs. Hewitt in, please? Yeah, why? Well, I just wanted to see her, like, you know, an urgent favour, you know. Oh, well, come round tomorrow, will you, lad? She's been working all day. She's half dead on her feet. You'll come back tomorrow morning, huh? Yeah, but tomorrow will be too late. It's very urgent. Oh, well, if you put it like that, I'll see what I can do. Oh. Hey, Conceptor, yeah? have you got a minute? Dennis wants to see you. Ooh. Dennis Tanner, me! <laughs> oh. oh, Dennis, what on earth do you want at this time of the night? Is it true about Mr. and Mrs. Walker? Is what true? That they're staying the night in town. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Look, Dennis, if it's not too much trouble, would you mind telling me what you want at this hour of the night? Because I'm trying to get to bed. Well, I just wanted to have the key for Rove's return for a bit. The key? Yeah, for front door. What do you want the key for? Well, it's this urgent phone call, you know, that I'm having. Look, Dennis, there's a phone box on Rosamond Street without breaking into people's houses at this time of night, you know. Yeah, but I told him to phone me at Rover's return, you know. That's where I'm expecting it. Well, I don't know, Dennis. I mean, it's not my property, is it? Oh, go on, you know me. Hmm. Well, just hang on a minute. Oh. <laughs> So, uh, it's, there's no, going to be no one at Rover's return all night, then, is that Why, right? Why, what are you thinking of putting on a concert party? Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm thinking of giving concert parties a bit of a rest, you know. Eee, it's getting colder, isn't it? Aye, well, it does, you know, at this time of night on doorsteps. Look, 
Here you are now, and oh. bring it straight back. Mrs. Walker would kill me if she knew. Oh, thanks very much. I'll only be five minutes. Oh, Harry, something tells me I shouldn't have given him that key. Come on, Sherry. Come on, that's a good girl. Into here, that's it. Come on, Sherry and Buddy. Come on, you great big daft stupid day, but come on over here. Look. So, what did the manager say? Precisely what that stuck-up receptionist told you. If the room isn't confirmed in writing, they're entitled by law to let it go. So there no, you are. Annie, I didn't know what about no, this carry-on. No, because you didn't take the trouble to find out. You've always been the same, Jack, and you're too old to change now. If you didn't confirm, you should have done so as soon as we arrived. But, oh, no, smoked salmon comes first. Oh, I tell you, I didn't know I had to do it. No, well, you know now, don't you? Might as well get our things, love. We might as well just be going on our way home. Oh, well, we can catch the late night from the bus station. Jack Walker, the one night in the year I have prawn cocktail, roast chicken and chocolate mousse. I am not riding on a 104 bus with a lot of night shift workers and drunken teddy boys. All right, I'll go and get a taxi. I should think so. Everything's coming up roses. Hail the conquered hero. Where have you been hiding yourself? I've nearly had the police out twice. I've been hiding. I've been organising. Oh, I should have thought you'd have had enough of that. Hey, is it true what I've been hearing? Ah, oh, go on. Some are dead clever. They want your concert for Broadway. I hear Orson Welles has been after you and all. Hey, he must be the only one that hasn't. Do you know, they must be quite fit round here. I've never run so fast in all my life. They didn't catch you, did they? No, Mr Barlow said he had to give him all the money back. Well, you needn't look so miserable about it. You've done that that you didn't ask for. And get your thieving hands off them sandwiches that for my midnight feast in bed. I can't help it. If his big end goes, I'm no magician, am I? No, you're not, love. You're not much coppered out, are you? Who? You. If you're not flooding blooming houses, it's somewhat else. Always up to the eyeballs in it. Always number one suspect. Ever since you were a kid. I don't know. You're a funny lad. Yeah, well, I take after my mother. Perhaps I should have persevered with my guitar. When are you going to do something right? What do you mean, I'm all right? I mean, I, I've got this audience for him, all right, didn't I? I mean, if those acts had turned up, they'd have had a belting audience. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't bother writing to our Linda. Bet she'd have come over and clocked you on. You know, if I'd have had a couple of hours alone with them sea lines, I'd bet I could have taught them some tricks, balancing and that sort of thing. I've got the patience for it. Ah, you've got the blooming cheek and all. Can you imagine all them old age pensioners coughing up half a dollar to see Dennis Tanner <laughs> performing tricks with two seals? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Who? Your fishy friends. Where are they? Where have you put them? They're not in my sink, are they? Are the echoes like in your sink? Well, it's all right laughing, but funnier things have happened, you know. Ah, oh, you panic for now, don't you? I've told you, I've got a flair for organising this, safe and sound. I've made special arrangements. Six minutes, it would have been quiet enough, love. It brought us the longest way round as it was, you know. Nay, love, let's be fair. He didn't know the proper way. Jack, hmm? did you hear something? No, why? Must be me. I thought I heard something bark. Hmm? You're probably right, love. He doesn't have much call to come round this way, I don't expect. Now, you go to bed, love. I'm going to have oh. a nice long soak in the bath and well, relax. There won't be any hot water, will there? Oh, there should be. It was boiling when we left. I'll just go and see. Oh, I do. I know I'm tired, and I know you'll think I'm being awkward, but there are two sea lions in our bath. That's no, love. There are three young women in our bed. 